students, today I am going to tell you a story. A story about a little mouse. You know, in a house there was a little mouse, a baby mouse. He was living in a cupboard. He was living in a cupboard. Okay? In a wooden cupboard with his mother. The baby mouse was living with his mother in a wooden cupboard in a house. And they were very happy there. Very happy. There was a hole. You can see there was a hole in the cupboard. In this wooden cupboard there was a hole. The mouse and the mother mouse, they were living in the cupboard. And they were eating all the things there. Very happy. They were eating all the things which were in the cupboard. Then slowly, the baby mouse became big. And then one day, he told his mother, Mummy, I want to go out and I want to see the world. Mummy looked at her and Mummy said, Child, you are very small. You are very small. If you will come out from the hole, outside the world is not good. So many enemies are there. You are very small to handle the situation. But the baby mouse said, No mummy, I am big now. I am big now. I will handle the situation. So mummy, what to do? Mummy said, Okay. You can go out of the hole and see the whole world. No? You can see your friends outside. You can meet your relatives. You can see the roads, the traffic, the trees, everything. But be careful. The baby mouse came out from the hole. The baby mouse came out from the hole and with the baby mouse, mummy mouse also came out. Because mummy was frightened, baby was small. No? So mummy said, I will go with you. And both of them came out of that wooden cupboard's hole. As they came out from the hole, who was sitting there? Who? A fat cat was sitting there. A fat cat was sitting there looking at the mouse. The cat was very happy. No? The cat said, oh, now you come mouse. I am going to eat you. I'll just catch you and I'll eat you. The mouse looked at the cat and the mouse got frightened. He was very much frightened, you know. Such a big cat was sitting there outside the cupboard. Then he was so frightened. He went back of his mother at once. He went back of his mother and said, Mommy! Mummy, I am very much frightened. What to do now? What we will do? The cat is sitting there. The cat is sitting just to catch the mouse. Now, how I will see the world? How? Then the mother mouse said, Wait. And she thought. She thought, what to do? What to do? And then one idea came to her. 
उठी ओपन हर माउथ शी ओपन हर माउथ एंड देन व्हाट शी डिड शी टुक लॉन्ग ब्रेथ थ्री ब्रेथ्स three long breaths she took and then she opened her mouth again and she barked like a dog she said woof woof to the cat you know what she did what she did she opened her mouth and she said woof woof bark bark bow bow she opened her mouth and she did like this the cat was frightened the cat said my god who are they looking like a small mouse and opening the mouth and taking out the sounds like a dog the cat was so frightened that at once the cat ran away looking all these the baby moose was very happy the baby mouse clapped and he was very happy he jumped and he clapped and he said mummy mummy this is very great you know the cat ran away this is very great now how you have done this how mummy then the smart mouse the mother was very smart you know she was very intelligent she was very knowledgeable so the mother mouse said my dear child it is because i know the second language what she said it is because i know the second language she told the baby mouse when you know many languages you can use the language and help yourself and she told the baby work hard study well and then what happen you will become intelligent and you can always remove all the problems you can solve any of the problem what was the cat the cat was a big problem and so the baby mouse learned what the baby mouse learned the baby mouse learned that he has to study well he has to do his duty properly he has to be disciplined and good so what we find dear children when we come out from the hole from our small world when we come out outside there is a big problem sometimes what that time we need to be smart we need to be very smart you know very smart like the mother mouse i hope dear children you have enjoyed the story now you have to open your book okay this is lesson 2 the smart mother mouse from your english book posy you read the story and you will surely enjoy the story